YouTubers. Uh, just finished working on my bike and uh, it's still early, so I gotta get started on uh, my uh, ATV trailer. Now, I purchased this thing, uh, well, it doesn't matter where I purchased from, but I'll say a Canadian tire. And from the picture, it looked really good. And, um, and I don't even know what to say. At best, this thing's a toy. I mean, like, once I purchased it, I should have known better. I should have just walked away from it, but I'm gonna show you. I took it out one time, I went fishing with it, with the ATV, and that's who it was made by. RBX model uh, by Rhino Buggies. Garbage, garbage. So, since I already paid for this, and oh, all the bolts, the way the designing all came loose, everything is loose. Uh, actually, that's tight, but loose. Um, I had to change the pins on the ride, the pins broke off, the ones I put on it were really small and undersized for that. Uh, the bearings came loose, so I, I don't know if you can see over there. Uh, that one there, you really get in there, see that space there? You need a gasket for there for that bearing. So basically, uh, and the tilting, I don't need the tilting. Uh, the wheelbase is too, too small, so I'm going to widen the wheelbase. I'm going to take out this tilting mechanism and just, I'm going to basically redo it. Just basically going to use the tires. And wheels I have on now until I get um, uh, the modifications to put ATV tires on it and I'm gonna use the, the bucket the buckets okay it's nothing wrong with the bucket see look, missing bolts everything just came loose and it was all tightened too uh, the tongue is uh, really crap it twisted on me every time uh, see I had to bend it there so it wouldn't I had to bend it here so it wouldn't go up and down as much. You see this? It's all twisted. It's hollow. It's not very strong at all. So we have to change all that. Okay, let's see what I can come up with. taking it all apart and everything I took the measurements so that uh, the axle would be would accommodate the wheels to be the same width as my ATV. Uh, I'm not going to see the measurement because some ATVs are different than others but it was around uh, the four foot uh, mark and then I just put it on the floor tried to get a, a visual point of it and uh, supporting it uh, that way I can uh, I'm a visual learner <laughs> let's put it that way so basically it's a typical V shape there. I could have extended it more and not put the center part all the way back, but I don't trust myself enough to do that. So I figure like, the more welds I get under the stone, clean it all out for the any ready to weld. Started off by uh, centering the middle piece there and uh, the bolt that way.
done here is I've taken the outcuts and uh, whatever scrap piece I had and I cut it into the angles. So uh, if you can picture this, when you're pulling the trailer, there's not uh, as much pressure where the wheels are going to be. So by extending the sides, when I'm pulling, I'm uh, theoretically pulling uh, the length, the whole uh, length of uh, where the wheel's going to go. So if it's three high, I put a three high on the, on the 45 as well, just to keep it stronger and prevent it from bending and breaking off. And the reasoning for this is that uh, you'll see that uh, I want as much clearance in the center as I can, going over rocks and stuff like that. I found that uh, the axles on my other trailers are always getting hung up, and this is just to prevent it. It's a small little trailer, I, I wanted to go over things as easier as possible. <laughs> Okay, so what I had to do here, I had this other little piece over here. I had to take it out, grind it out. Uh, where is it? Here. Um, same outside diameter, but the inside is smaller. So when I was putting the rod through, it got stuck. I was smashing it. It wouldn't go through. So I had to cut it out, make a new piece. And then what I did was I made that one a little bit longer so it has a little bit more strength. Then I can weld it along the inside there as well. So, um, I know, don't look at the welding, uh, I weld maybe once, twice a year, that's it, and uh, I don't have gas for my welder, it's uh, the thing I've screwed up, so I'm welding with flux, uh, as long as it holds, I really don't care if it looks pretty or not, uh, I'm going to grind it all up, fix it all up, look, make it look nicer though, and that's basically it, I put these pieces here, so that the wheel wouldn't slide in and hit the frame. Do the same on that side. So uh, that's just a stopper for the actual wheel itself. Okay, I gave it back. I got to still put a support over here so it doesn't break. Alright, so I'm almost done. I just uh, temporarily put it together. Nothing's bolted on. I got, uh, you can see over there, I just have a clamp on the on the tongue. Nothing's drilled yet or bolted. Uh, this is not on yet. I gotta make um, a little frame to fit all this bolt pattern here to uh, hold it down and then just gonna either bolt it or weld it onto the frame, uh, which will we do after. And I did it with these tires here, but I have it ready for the future to uh, put on um, put on uh, ATV tires on there. I have to get hubs, and they're a little bit pricey. So I've been looking at uh, junkyards for two-wheelers. If I can get a, uh, two-wheeler hubs from Articat, then I can put uh, 
one of uh, my spare rims and tires on the trailer. And I'll actually bring you a little bit higher. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, now all I gotta do is uh, do that frame and bolt everything together. After welding the part down there, I just put the box on there, got some spray paint, sprayed it, and left me the hole marks. I also added a bolt straight through in the center uh, um, and in the front uh, just to make it stronger in case the welds give out. Uh, oh, I tried to be safe. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Don't mind the rims uh, and tires. Uh, I'm getting the other ones put new rubber on the aluminum rims. But it looks good. It came out better than I expect. I, I know you're saying, you're probably thinking this is back a little bit, and it's for a reason. Is in the future, uh, I might put um, a quick extension on that so I can put another three, four feet and have something in the front here. Uh, it's hard to explain, but when I do it, I'll show it, but uh, it's just preset. And plus, it's not going to have that much weight on here. It's just meant to carry a deer, carry my my cooler or something into a, a remote spot. And that's basically it. All right, then, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on um, YouTube and Instagram. You'll find it on the Franks uh, DIY. And um, thank you.